mean, I, I gosh, we've learned a lot. First off, you know, the, the uh, just in acclimating ourselves to the you know, general terms of running a major transit agency and looking at uh, how they're structured from a management perspective. You know, we've learned that uh, notwithstanding a hiring freeze, that there's been a number of political hires uh, that have been made that have been upwards to a seven-figure number that uh, could have been better spent elsewhere. You know, we've learned uh, empirically that, that accident rates and breakdown rates have increased. Uh, Bob picked it up, or Senator picked it up today relative to the one chart we saw from one of the witnesses. Uh, right? That was uh, yeah, you know, there was some demonstrative of, of the lack of resources. Uh, we learned the that there are, what, three, 300 vacancies in critical positions. Um, this is going to meet those goals when the testimony today was that SEPTA, who's in the same region, who had the same set of facts to deal with, was able to have the aforethought to put the infrastructure in place to meet that goal. So, I mean, to me, that was the bombshell that we heard today, is they were able to do it. We weren't. It'd be nice to know why not. And then, of course, you've got to turn the page and, uh, and, and move forward. And, and as it relates to raising fares after seven years, that, that's off the table. A new tax? No way. That's just not going to happen. We do have the Transportation Trust Fund that's now been collateralized, and, and Lord knows that we need to deal with other areas of infrastructure that we see in the form of roads and bridges and tunnels, but at the end of the day, that's now a dedicated source of funding in the billions that we could look to in dealing with what's the lifeblood of our economy in New Jersey. But now, 